Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's quick video, I am going to be showing you exactly how I tint my brows from home. Eyebrow tints can be hella expensive and girl, they add up over the year. If you add it up, some of us are spending $600 to $700 a year on brow tints. Ain't nobody got time for that. So if you wanna learn how to very cheaply and very quickly do it from home, then please keep on watching. Now there are obviously heaps of brow tinting kits available on the market. My favorite is this 1000 hour one. I get it in the color natural black. I love this one because it's got everything that you need in one handy little kit. It lasts ages. I reckon I can get six months out of one of these little kits. And it also is super, super affordable. Um, it costs me around $9 here in Australia. So they're essentially the same as hair coloring kits. So you get some developer liquid in there. You get the little tube of color. And you'll notice that, you know, these are very, very small, but gosh, you you do not need to use much product to tint your brows. And then this weird little spatula thing for mixing. And now the tray, um, the idea is that you mix the product up inside the tray, but I prefer not to do that. I'll show you how I do it soon. So here are my brows naturally without any color. For those of you who may be interested, I am naturally a dark brunette, but all of my body hair from the eyebrows down is blonde. It's so weird, right? Comment down below if you are someone who has got natural eyebrows that are different to their hair color, but essentially, this means that I have to tint my brows kind of well every two to three weeks to keep them matching my hair color and again this might be odd but girl it works and it is cheap I mix up my color in a little disposable water bottle cap you don't need to use much product as I said earlier and this is just I don't know it's easy you can mix up the color and then you can toss the lid out quick cheap easy done <laughs> so all you have to do is add the cream and the developer and then mix it up Get mixing sister <laughs> depending on which kit you use and I will link a bunch of alternatives down below um, but the kit directions will tell you what ratio of cream to developer that you need to use and then I take a lip balm now in place of a lip balm you can use coconut oil you can use Vaseline whatever it may be take that product on a small eyeshadow brush or even an eyeliner brush and paint the area around your eyebrows the idea of this is that it's going to stop any of that color from getting on your skin have you ever had your brows tinted and they've essentially painted eyebrow color all over your forehead and tinted all of the hairs that aren't eyebrows yeah me too and it's embarrassing and I don't like to leave the house for a little while after that <laughs> you then want to grab a little angle brush now if you don't want to change the color of the bristles try using a little brush that already has black hairs pick up a little bit of that eyebrow coloring product and start to fill in your brows how you normally would you know when you are applying a powder or pencil to them so you want to stick within the natural brow line you don't want to color any areas outside of your natural brow line and just very very slowly and very carefully paint the color on now we've obviously got that lip balm or Vaseline or coconut oil or whatever you used as a safeguard but if you do accidentally go a little bit too high or a little bit too far just take a clean q-tip and wipe up the mistake that you have made and then continue on now once you've got the basic shape of your brows laid down go back in with a little bit more color once you're feeling a little bit more confident and start to apply um, you know a couple more layers of that color just to ensure that it coats every single brow hair. There really is no special trick to doing this. It takes all of about 60 seconds for each brow. Um, just fill them in how you would with any other product and you'll be good to go. Now you will notice that the color will start to develop and get darker. Don't panic and don't forget this is completely normal. But I will say uh, when you are tinting your brows from home, don't apply any self tan to your face for at least 24 to 48 hours afterwards. I have made that mistake so many times and my eyebrows have gone orange. Now I'm not talking about, you know, a hint of warmth. I'm talking like Ron Weasley red, like crazy. So yeah, just be super careful with that. I just use a little bit of micellar water on a cotton pad to clean off the brush. Don't let that color dry on the brush. It will go hard and cakey and pretty well you'll have to toss out that brush. So you can use uh, any eyeliner brush that you've got. Just make sure that you clean it. And then we wait 10 10 minutes that's really all there is and for some reason I tend to spend that 10 minutes making weird faces in the mirror and trying to look angry with my crazy dark brows but you spend the time however you want <laughs> Okay, back now after 10 minutes and you can see how that color has developed to a, well, it's pretty well a solid black. Again, don't freak out. This is exactly what you want. Pick up a, you know, a damp cotton pad or pop some micellar water on it or whatever. Rub off that excess color and girlfriend, you are pretty well good to go. Now, because you've taken the time and the care to very carefully apply the color and to apply that lip balm first, you're not going to have any excess color that has bled out onto the skin. So you're going to be able to apply makeup uh, straight away 
away, you're going to be able to leave the house straight away. You don't have to be a hobbit and hide away. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. As you can see there, the hairs are definitely much darker than before. I love you guys so much. Let me know what you want to see next, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!